here because you know something is wrong. You have felt it for many, many years. You vibrate at a very high frequency. And you've realized that the frequency that you hold has become a threat to them. You're tired of the lies. You're tired of the misinformation. You are here because you're seeking truth. Because you understand. As a storm of unrestrained madness approaches. Welcome to Covert Radio. guys here real quick this early Wednesday morning April the 7th 2021 and I do want to welcome you because I'm glad you're here I'm glad you're listening and I hope that you'd share this I'm going to make it short hopefully it's just woke up this is the first thing I saw this morning but I am glad you're here what, what's that why why do you ask well, it's simple. It's because I like you and I want you. And I'm talking to you and you and you and you and you over there and you in your car. Maybe going to work, I don't know. You know, I said in that uh, unrestrained madness. And I'm telling you, it's coming. Um, Just bombarded every day with information, bombarded with um, news. And, you know, again, that's one of the key reasons that probably the only reason really that Covert Radio exists is because, you know, if you've ever read any of my, uh, you know, my, I guess my, what, bio, you know, I talk about taking information, discerning it with the gift of discernment that you can only get from God. And I, uh, I, I filter all of it and then I give it to you guys. Because there's just so much maddening noise if you don't have some sort of... Uh, and, and, you know, education helps with that knowledge, experience. It all, it all enables people to... Um, you know, people with a gift of discernment to really kind of filter what's, what's important, what's not. I'll tell you this right now, though. A guy named Harry Dent, financial uh, genius, predicted the crash of 2008, uh, a bunch of other things. Just recently, last night, uh, he had predicted that within several months, as early as June, we are going to see a stock market and a real estate crash that it hasn't been seen since the 1920s and 30s with the Great Depression. Now, there's people that say this stuff all the time, but the key thing is this came from Harry Dent. And everything's lining up. We have a crisis at the border, and that, that's bad. I mean, if you, I'm not going to talk about it here because you can't talk about that stuff on YouTube. There's a crisis, and you know if you look into information from Donna, Texas, this whatever they're doing with, and I mean these poor people. I don't. It's not. It's not. Um, I feel so bad for these people because you know America has this facade that it's the land of opportunity, and you know, but these people 
and look, this isn't for this video because I can tell you a whole story about uh, about a local company around here. Um, because I live in a blue state, blue county, all that. And this is all this federal money that comes filtering in for all these immigrants, man. These people work around the clock. They make basically minimum wage. They live in the, like, I, I, it's just so sad. They come to America thinking that it's, uh, you know, they look at people's houses, they see the stuff on TV, and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's going to be me. And when they really realize what you have to do to make money and then you start putting it together that you're not going to have anything unless you're a voluntary debt slave. I their their American dreams really crashes down. I've talked to some of these people and I've really considered asking them if they ever want to talk to you guys once. And I think I am going to do that when I go live. This isn't about that though. Um, Black Lives Matter activist one of the biggest ones she has five over five hundred thousand uh followers i believe it's on her tiktok we're gonna get into that there's an article uh she threatens america with riots and buildings on fire if chauvin is not convicted again this is the perfect storm what's happening i'm on record if i need to i will go back and find the video from last year Around this time last year. And I said, when this goes to trial, this guy will not be convicted. And it's sad because, you know, the law, see, and I, I welcome any opinions about this uh, in the comments section. I have to, I have to say this though. Do not, I don't care what you feel. I can't say that. I do care what you feel. What, but in a situation like this, I don't care what, what your emotions, because th none of this is going to come into play. That's the sickening part about the legal system in America. It's a com that's why there, there's legalese. That's why these are master chess players in the language of legalese. You know, these guys and women that are attorneys and lawyers or whatever and judges, they speak a different language. And the rules are very basic, st straightforward. And they're centuries, centuries, and centuries old rules. And um, what matters is what the law says. Not what you think, not what you think should happen, not the emotional tie to this, which, you know, uh, is, is across the board for everybody. There's... I, I can't even get into that, but I'm just saying, don't come here with what you feel should happen because no matter what I feel should happen or what you feel should happen, it's not going to matter in a court of law. And I'm going to tell you guys something. More than likely, there's not going to be able to, con <laughs> they're not going to be able to convict him of anything. And I'm basing this on the law. They are not going to be able to convict him of second-degree murder, manslaughter, third-degree murder, or murder. They're not going to be able to convict him. There's too much evidence of the drug use, the coroner report, and, you know, the law of intentionally causing, uh, you know, harm to him or murder. This all has to be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't know what that was. You know, the, the law is very, very straightforward. Second, uh, second degree murder is, is very uh, straightforward. The, um, the statutes in Minnesota are cut and dry. Third degree murder, very straightforward. And, you know, we can even talk about the other cops that were involved, um, and what their duties were see what you know what i mean it doesn't matter what they what you think they should have did uh it matters what these attorneys and, and lawyers can convince a um a jury you know what what these cops should have did legally what their legal obligations were should they have stopped it like the uh what was the asian cop tayo thio something like that you know it's just they're not going to be able to can to can can uh 
get a conviction. This is, in my opinion, has been set up for a mistrial since day one. Murder is the absolute wrong charge to go after. And especially, like I said, because the autopsy results all already show that he did not die of asphyxiation. But he had a lethal dose of fentanyl uh, in, in his system, which fentanyl is very similar to how Michael Jackson died. Propofofoline or something like that. I mean, those are facts. Again, I don't care what people think. I don't care how it looked. I mean, again, it's not that I don't care. I do. But they don't care. The facts don't care. You know, should this cop be punished? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100% I agree with that. But going for a murder charge, in my opinion, is a mistake. There's no way that a jury is going to be able to uh, convict him of murder. Put it this way, they won't convict him fairly, I should say that, because again, we're going to look at some threats already being made that the black lives are threatening hell on earth, a whole new summer of destruction, but this is worse than anybody has seen yet, worse than the Rodney King stuff, Worse than anything we have been through. And you don't think that's exactly what's on the menu for the globalists? You don't think that's exactly what they want to initiate this race war and to be able to come in and put troops on the street? Listen to covert radio. I have been warning of this for five years. It's exactly what they want. So why wouldn't they allow, why wouldn't they just, just prepare? That's all I can say. Again, Harry Dent is talking the next, you know, month or two or four or five. We're talking catastrophic, um, you know, decrease in real estate up to 50, 60% drop in real estate. Stock market. I mean, forget retirement, forget your 401k. His opinion, and I'm not making this opinion, I'm just saying what this professional genius has suggested, get out of it. Get what you can out of it. If, you, if you're a holder of you know, several properties, you, you should probably sell the majority of them right now while there's still a fair market value of them. Because in another few months to a year, you're going to lose 50, 40 to 60% of the worth of your, of your real estate. Um, if you can get out of the, your 401k and put it into something safe, like a bond or cash, I would probably consider doing something like that. But let me get back to this because I don't want to make this long. Again, I woke up this morning. I'm still, you know, half asleep, but I saw this is the first thing I read and I just, you know, what bothers me is how can you make threats like this? There, isn't this a, a terroristic threat? America will burn to the ground if Chauvin is not convicted. Really? It don't matter what you think, sweetheart. It matters what the law is, what the, what the jury decides. It doesn't, your threats do not matter. But what you are doing is inciting violence. You can't control the law because of how you feel or threats that you make. And in a way, I, you know, again, it's a pipe dream that they're going to make examples out of these people. They won't because this is exactly what they want. And you got to remember this too. Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis already <laughs> defunded their police department. And that was a unanimous vote. They're already defunded. And if you look at the crime statistics, it's in the triple digits in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Then they're going to talk a word of guns. Just like, look at Mexico. The only ones with guns are the criminals. So you defund the police. You destroy all the cities. Constant burning fires in 20, 30, 50 cities, a whole new summer of riots beyond anything we've seen. You know, one of two things is going to happen, and, and you're hearing it here first. Let's just say he, he gets convicted, okay, whatever. Are, they, are people even going to be happy with the charge he gets? 
see what I mean? They're setting this up so that no matter what happens, there's going to be problems. And, you know, I, I, wonder, I was really thinking about this about a week ago. I thought to myself, well, you know, one of my videos, I said, when the government allows you to riot, you better run the opposite way. Something's wrong. When the government is protecting you from going around and, and, and burning down government property and tearing down statues and taking over police stations and all, when, when the government allows you to do that, there's something wrong. You better run the other way. So what I was thinking about last week was, you know, they allowed this whole summer of, of uh, behavioral conditioning that it's okay. You can go out in the streets. You can, yeah, go ahead. Burn that down. Yeah. We're, we're right behind you. Pelosi and all these wackos. We're right behind you. But what about this time? What about this time? All these people, millions of people are going to think they're going to walk down right in the middle of any street they want, and they're going to start burning stuff down again. Maybe the, this whole last summer in 2020 was just a, a phase of conditioning to, to make people feel safe. They, you know, Yeah, next year we're really going to go for it, except when they go for it this time, there will be mass arrest. There will be mass incarceration. Those Walmarts that I talked about will be filled up. No matter what, this is going to end bad. <laughs> this is going to end bad because either there's going to be justice or there's going to be injustice. But no, no matter what the decision is, you're not going to make everybody happy. And... You cannot bend the law, and they will not bend the law to appease a terrorist mob of people who are threatening to burn the country down if they don't get what they want. And that's just, I mean, that's just a simple fact. We'll take a look at this article here. Let's see here. It's the Citizen Free Press. Let's see. Do you guys see that? Where are we at on time? I don't want to make this long. Okay. Uh, Citizen Free Press. BLM leader threatens uh, Democrat, uh, Democrat cities will burn if Chauvin is found not guilty. So... They're going to burn the cities down if they don't get what they want. And then there's a, a tweet here by a girl named Kelly Cam Campana. Warrior woman 91. Justice apparently now means people riot in the street if they don't get the conviction that they want. So let's see what their Twitter's all about here. We'll go to this real quick. Yeah, it's Kelly Campana, and you know, there's justice. Apparently, now means people ride in the street if they don't get the conviction they want. Here, oh, this is, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's play this. I think this is the woman that threatened it. Mayo, Mio, something. I don't know. If George Floyd's murderer is not sentenced, just know that all hell is gonna break loose. Don't be surprised when buildings are on fire just saying if george floyd so just saying that uh don't be surprised when you know what they allowed you to do last year is met with massive force this year don't be surprised because again i'll say it for the 500th time when the government allows you to riot you better run the other way and all these people are starting to, you know, lick their chops and rub their hands. We're going to get more TVs this year. And, you know, there'll be 150 people dead this time. And, you know, we're going to take it to the next level. Maybe, maybe that is what's going to happen. But either way, this is not going to end well. So prepare. Yeah, Maya Eccles, a prominent Black Lies. Wow. 
Black Lives Matter, I don't know if that's a typo or they're, they meant to be disrespectful, but a prominent Black Lives Matter activist threatened that cities will be on fire if Derek Chauvin is not convicted. If George Floyd's murderer is not sentenced, just know that all hell is going to break loose. Don't be surprised when buildings are on fire. Just saying, Eccles threatened in a since-deleted video. Here's some memes here. You know, I don't know who all the... I mean, obviously, that's the vice president. There's that witch. There's this witch. And uh, there needs to be unrest in the streets. Protesters should not let up. The vice president. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they are not welcome anymore anywhere. Psychotic. 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 I just don't know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. Maybe there will be. This isn't going to end well, guys. Just just get ready. It, it, everything's lining up. It's all lining up. And just choose your poison. <laughs> Again, they, they, they're, there's no way they're going to get a second degree murder. They're not going to get murder in the third degree. I mean, it's just, you know, it's not going to happen. Not because of what you think. It's because of what the law says. And I want to be clear, they are not going to try to charge Derek Chauvin with intentional murder under the second degree. They can't do that because they would never, ever, ever get a conviction. I mean, the whole thing is on film. Everybody saw everything. You know, maybe we'll, uh, depending on you know, what, what you guys have to say about this. Maybe we'll get into this a little bit deeper. But all I'm saying is prepared. Uh, I'd like to bring more info to you guys. If you want to become a Patreon, please do so. If not, I mean, oh, that's another thing too. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to get into it. All I know is the primary way I've been communicating is through comments. Not email, nothing. Just through comments. So if you have something to say, say it here, you know what I mean? Because, and, and again, I don't know what's going on with my comments because I, I may get one, two out of four or five comments that actually publish. And there's a lot of times I'll see you guys make comments, but they don't show up on the, on the, on the, uh, on YouTube for some reason, but I can see them on, in my feed. It's just so odd. I mean, I, I'm I'm keeping a record of how, how much I am censored because with the grace of God, I will be suing YouTube for the violation of, of Act 230. They are not to be acting as a publisher, yet they are editing, hiding, removing. They are absolutely publishing what I say and do. I'm shadow banned now on YouTube, and it literally is just a matter. Oh, speaking of that, I found a whole new genre of things that are miraculously allowed on YouTube. I don't know if you guys remember my one video called YouTube's Dirty Little Secret. Well, I found a whole new genre of stuff that's right out in the open. No zero uh, age restrictions, no nothing. And it's it, it'll turn your stomach. But yet you can't give an opinion or speak, you know, show factual truth or documents on certain topics, but they're allowing this to be pounded into children's heads. So I can't wait to show you guys that. Um, but yeah, that's coming too. But um, yeah, become a Patreon, leave a comment. Hopefully it shows up. I have no restrictions on comments or anything, you know, I, whatever happens on on the Covert Radio YouTube channel is what YouTube decides happens. I have no control over it. I don't have any special controls on there. No filters, no nothing. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, you have a good day. You guys take care. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, <laughs> I didn't even have coffee yet. 
You guys take care. You have a good day.